Here's my office, which doubles as my home. Nothing special, but what else would you expect of a former policeman turned private detective? No friends, no customers, unpaid bills, and loads of free time. Well, I do have one friend. My fish Felix in that old aquarium. For being my only friend, you'd think I'd clean his bowl more often. as well, and I've cut a whole heap of those lying around. suburb. The job must be interesting. Detective Nick Chase. Please enter, sir. We've been expecting you. The owner of this mansion must be doing well for himself. this about? What's going on?
I was expecting a warmer welcome. Let's see what's coming next. Please excuse me. I had to assure myself of your competence. I've never seen someone solve my puzzle so quickly. It's quite remarkable. You've obviously got a lot of time on your hands. I hope you need me for more than solving a few door puzzles. Indeed I do. A unique manuscript from the pen of Leonardo has been stolen. Then let's get to work finding it. Okay, my former boss always said that the most important thing was proof. Seems like everything I've found has no relevance to the case. A button lost by the slovenly chambermaid, a hair of the owner's prized purebred lab, found this blood with the hope that it belongs to the culprit I may have just found my first big lead and in order to turn this lead into real evidence I'll need a little bit of pure science Mistakes like this one, and I'll have to start thinking about retiring. Dr. Morrison. Ah, Nick Chase! I assume you have some sort of forensic question for me? I may. Looks like you're still fiddling around with alchemy. Oh, it's pure science, Nick. Pure science. Although I must admit that the results of my experiments are sometimes... <laughs> quite unexpected. I have a small request for you, Doc. I need to use your lab to... Not a word more! I'm at your disposal, Chase. 
Speaking of which, I've made the most fascinating discovery regarding the mating habits of microbiotic cell mitosis. Doc. The doctor working. Must be nice. This photograph should be useful in reassembling the analyzer. Fix the analyzer. There's no time for that. the analyzer. Looks like I'll have to fix the animal. is ready. Now I'll need a concoction for the study.
time to light up the burner. The burner's empty. It needs fuel. Okay, now for the results. Actually, have you ever thought about changing your profession? My last assistant was lost in a, a scientific malfunction of sorts. You know, I wouldn't mind having you as a partner. Oh, no thank you, Chase. I don't particularly enjoy being shot at. Well, enough about that. Let us return to your blood sample. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's incredible. This single sample possesses enough sedative to drop a horse. I didn't find too much information, but something is definitely better than nothing. Whoever the thief might be, seems like he has some kind of nervous condition. Looks like I need the help of Joe the Scribbler. I'll be lucky to find him at home. Joe knows all the psychos in this city, and with good reason. Sometimes I think he's slightly out of his mind, too. Joe's neighbors in a few police lineups. Let's leave them be. It's too dark to see anything. I've already seen Joe's neighbors in a few police lineups. Let's leave them be. out of this one. Nick, I'm so relieved it's you. Quite the welcome. Are you all right? Yeah, let's just say I was involved in an incident, so I uh, need to get out of this city right now, actually. Just a couple minutes, Joe. I need some information. Yeah, you can always count on me, Nick. Uh, there's just one tiny thing. Of course. Well, actually, there are many tiny things. See, I kind of dropped and busted the lid to my chest where I keep my information when you, uh, broke in just now. It's interesting, but it has nothing to do with my work here. Not all the pieces are assembled yet.
this line of work, a family is merely a dream. Thanks. Well, let's see here. Uh, hmm, no, not this. I, uh, ooh, oh, no, not that. Uh, 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 here we go. Let's hear it. Meet Jonathan Graham Jr., a hardened criminal through and through. He, uh, suffers from a rare mental disorder which compels him to take sedatives. Thanks, Joe. You helped me a lot. Uh, there's one more thing. It's rumored that Graham set his sights on the treasury safe. Such an idea could only occur to a madman. I mean, the locks on the safes were based on the drawings of... Leonardo himself. Impressive as always, Chase. Now, the story takes a serious turn. Jonathan Graham is a tough guy to find. Lucky for me, I know where his hangout is. People around here have taken to a place called the Golden Cats, a seedy hangout in the city center. Sounds like a fun place. Tracing these cats won't be any trouble. With this gadget in hand, one could even find the road to hell. Thank you. 